Welcome once again to The Breakfast. Now let's go back in history uh, to this day, the 4th of October in 2017. A sad day, of course, um, in Niger, but it doesn't just concern the Niger Republic, it also concerns the United States, because it was on this day that there was something called the Tongo Tongo Ambush, where Islamic State militants had ambushed a group of Nigerian and um, U.S. Um, military officers and, of course, uh, led to the uh, killing of uh, five Nigerians and four uh, U.S. soldiers. At least 21 ISGS militants were also killed and eight Nigerians and two U.S. soldiers included in the team commander were wounded. In the day preceding the ambush, the Nigerian and U.S. soldiers conducted a mission attempting to locate and capture or kill Dundu Shifu, who was a commander of the Islamic State um, of um, West Africa, basically, um, or one of those terrorist groups. Um, the ambush sparked political debate over the presence of U.S. forces in, in Africa, which, of course, has been on the, um, well, has been in, in whispers. Not very many people knew that they were in that part of the, of the world. Um, and, of course, uh, it remained also one of the largest loss of American lives in combat in Africa since 1993 in a battle in Mogadishu. If you've seen the movie Black Hawk Down, then you should know what I'm talking about. Um, you know, a number of American soldiers that lost their lives in Somalia um, in 1993. Um, after that, of course, this you know, story is the largest number of American lives, American soldiers that have been lost in battle in Africa. The team leader and the four Nigerian soldiers continued their flanking movement until they were spotted, uh, or rather they were stopped by a body of water while they were being chased, um, at which point they identified and engaged the enemy across the water, killing approximately four combatants. But of course, they still didn't stop the killing of these uh, Nigerian and U.S. Uh, soldiers. Uh, the militants, according to reports, had arrived with a dozen technical and about 20 motorcycles and were equipped with small arms. The vehicles were mounted with heavy machine guns, rocket-propelled uh, grenades, grenades rather, and mortars, and of course um, eventually dealt a huge blow to the U.S. Army um, who was stationed in Niger and of course the Nigerian soldiers. So this happened in Niger Republic on this day in 2017. It's called the Tongo Tongo Ambush. Stay with us. Our first major conversation of the day comes up next. Uh, Southeast governors are meeting over insecurity. What discussions must be had with the Southeast governors, traditional leadership, and Arnez Indigo? That comes up right after this short break.